It's just heartbreaking. Um, my heart goes out and my prayers go out. Tonight, a family is grieving and devastated after a father and four of his children died in a fire in Jeanette. The victims were Tyler King, seven-year-old Kyson John, six-year-old Kinsley John, three-year-old Keegan John, and one-month-old Corbin John. The mother and two other children escaped the fire. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Ken Rice. The flames broke out at the family's home on Guy Street around midnight last night. Firefighters say they were there within minutes, but the house was already engulfed. They heard screaming from inside, but the intense heat and flames made it impossible to rescue the five who died. They say the deaths of young children are the worst cases they encounter. People don't understand with these first responders. It's not an eight hour day job. They go home, they bring it with you. They can't turn it off. A neighbor is being credited with helping rescue the mother and two children. Jack Mull tells us he stepped outside, saw the flames, and immediately jumped into action. I screamed at my daughter to call 911. He says he tried to get into the basement, but it was too hot. The fire was spreading too quickly. That's when he raced to his backyard to grab a ladder. He says by the time he got back, he could see the mother and the baby on the roof. Along with firefighters, he helped get them to safety. He says he doesn't regret putting his own life at risk. I knew the kids were there. So if you can get a kid out, you know, get her out. I mean, who wouldn't? The mother and her surviving children are still in the hospital tonight. Jennifer Barrasso joins us live from Jeanette now with an update on how the survivors are doing and how the community is coming together to help them. Jen. Ken, well, I'm told the mother is in stable condition. Her two sons, 10-year-old son Caden and 1-year-old son Cash, are in the ICU in critical condition. Now, the investigation into what happened here is ongoing. The fire chief earlier today saying that he's not sure if smoke detectors were working. Meantime, the community here is just heartbroken. They're shaken, and it's just a solemn mood here. Everybody's hurting. Nothing left behind here in Jeanette can change this unimaginable loss. It just makes you realize that life can change in an instant. And it just really puts everything into perspective, I think. But my, I'm just heartbroken for the whole family and for the community. A deadly fire overnight killed a father and four of his children. 27-year-old Tyler King, described as a kind-hearted person who always had a smile on his face. Seven-year-old Kyson had an artistic spirit and loved drawing. Six-year-old Kinsley was a spunky spirit and spitting image of her mother, who loved being a cheerleader. Three-year-old Keegan was a spitfire and a daddy's boy who loved dinosaurs. And one-month-old Corbin. Their mother, Miranda John, and her two other kids were rescued from a second-story window. The fire chief pointed out they faced challenges because of water supply issues. First hydrant that we hit, uh gave us a little bit of water but not even enough to make it up the hill to the scene so we did run out of our tank water uh, at one point and by that point the fire was well involved flames spread to the house next door but everyone inside got out safely now the investigation is on surrounding how this started a little pull loan case for easter hours later at the Jeanette Midget Athletic Association Fieldhouse, donations pouring in for the survivors. Everything from clothes to diapers. Kristen Walters' six-year-old daughter, Grace, cheered with Kinsley. I just can't even think? imagine what the family's going through. I just can't fathom. Neither can Dan Cooper, the president of the JMAA. He met with a grieving family. You feel hurt. Uh, you feel their pain and you do your best to try to keep it positive for them. But we know that uh, they're wrapped, they're wrapped in Jesus' arms right now. They all are. And uh, we just, here in this organization, we just pray for them, pray for the family and anything that they need, we got it. 
back here live, the growing memorial on the steps here. Now, earlier I talked to a family member of Tyler King, the father who died. She told me the King had a tw has a twin brother and they were inseparable. They were loud, hilarious and pleasantly obnoxious together. She told me Tyler, she said, created this huge, beautiful family and he was a devoted dad. The family is now permanently shattered, she told me. Now, the JMAA Midgets uh, Fieldhouse taking more donations on Friday, I'm told. If you want to help this family out, you can go to our website, kdk.com, for more information. Reporting live in Jeanette, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.